Hi Taurus. Taurus November. Okay, let's start off with the Queen of Wands. This is a Leo coming in, which is, has in fact also come in with the Two of Cups energy. So um, potential destined Leo coming in around you might be a lover, might be a friend, um, someone who's going to help you in some way. You're destined to come together to reconcile or reconnect with this person. Now, the Queen of Wands, um, she, she, it's a really a great energy to open up the month with here, uh, Taurus. So this is quite... Um, it's a surge of energy, it's openness, it's receptivity, um, so uh, an open mind, or you're becoming more open to things, or people are becoming more open to you. Negotiation, sacrifice, upsell, um, important meetings. I do feel like there's a lot of meetings or dates or um, collaborations occurring for you in November, um, which could really pioneer or pave way in one area of your life, whether it is love or uh, career. I actually think it's both. So the connections you make will be groundbreaking, I think, um, with the Queen of Wands energy. She's very motivated to do things. She's very, very active. She's also quite sexual. So sexual encounters, physical attraction, all of these could be heightened for you during this time. She can represent spirituality, potentially superstition or the esoteric world because of the dark, uh, dark cat, the black cat here. So some of you might be exploring that. Um, exploring those, especially because you've got the stars of creation here. So um, exploring little facets of that here. So this is quite enticing. So um, potentially mysterious new opportunities, different paths will um, take shape around you here, Taurus. So very nice to see. You do have the six of ones, great prominence, um, elevation, potentially a promotion happening here because the lion is the king of the jungle, the leader of the pride. So you might be allocated a role where you're leading a team. Um, you might feel like you're at the center of your social circle. You might feel like you've been given a lot more responsibility or autonomy. And I do think you're going to take that opportunity and really shine. Um, Six of Wands is definitely being noticed. So you're being noticed by the people around you. Also being noticed by the world here. The world could be noticing your talents. Um, you might be stepping out into the world. You might be launching a business idea. You might be creating a new social media following. You might be influencing people. But there's there's momentum and there's hype. Okay, there's a lot of hype around you, around what you're doing. Maybe even controversy potentially. Okay, a lot of people talking and connecting here. So a lot of people are talking about you and what you're doing, what you're contributing, what you're um allowing here but it could also be a fire sign that's becoming more prominent okay a fire sign that if you have options in love or you've considered this person before they're coming forward and it's all like everyone it's almost like everyone else is going to fall to the background and this fire sign comes to the foreground here but before that happens i feel like you need to encounter the five of cups now this could be cancer pisces scorpio energy in that last column you do have cup cards which point to emotion or perhaps a water sign you might be dealing with now there could be a bit of a hiccup maybe towards the middle of november where you're feeling nostalgic or you're immersing yourself in grief or loss or even longing for someone it might be someone from your past because there's we, we see water we see the bridge it could be water under the bridge um, or it's failure to reconcile with your past in some way. Now, there is talks of a talk. Uh, there is talks of a twin flame union here. The two of cups that is behind you here, and the two of cups that has come up in the card below. This is very powerful stuff, Taurus. This is a twin flame union coming together, a soulmate union coming together. It might be someone from your past that wants to meet with you. Now, whether or not you this is your twin flame or someone you, you're, you're very drawn to and this person wants to reach out to you, you might receive a message from them and this person wants to reconnect with you. They want to see you face to face. They're inquiring about you. Maybe the missing, the sadness, the grief is coming from their end. If it's not coming from yours, Taurus, I feel like it's coming from them. To be, to be honest, I feel like they feel it too. If this is a love situation, I do feel like this person is missing you or that they long for you 
in, in some way. Now, it could also be excessiveness. It could also be a certain situation that has hasn't turned into hasn't turned um, or hasn't resulted in the outcome I should say that you've been hoping for and there's possibly a bit of disappointment attached a disappointment attached to this and you're not really sure about the steps to take next and uh, talking to people might help you whether it is colleagues um, people that inspire you authors okay motivational speakers anything that sort of inspires you that, that that's coming up around you and I think that's going to give you some sort of momentum because you are meeting with a lot of people you do have that three of pentacles now um, negotiations offers counter offers immigration meetings visa checks visa interviews all of this is coming up around you here uh, pentacles rule the monetary realm this is your realm this is your area of expertise here Taurus so I see you prevailing in that I see you taking initiative in that which is very positive it could be counter offers offers for properties for cars for business deals um, maybe you're discussing things with people you work with maybe you're trying to promote or sell something um, but again, the Leo brings a lot of dominance, so there could be a product or a service maybe you work with or you provide that's really going to dominate this month and you'll look over and be like, wow, okay, this is really successful. This is moving quite, quite well. Um, so it, it could also be that too. Could be a third party situation, potentially the notion of three, okay, the three spilt cups, the three of pentacles, possibly options in love. I don't think it's necessarily cheating um, or deceit. Maybe for some of you it could be. But I think it's more to do with uh, another priority coming into a relationship or you juggling multiple priorities or multiple things, multiple facets of your life from career to relationships to family to investments. Uh, it could be quite busy for you this November. You do have the world card. So some of you might be exposed to the world. OK, the world might know your name. You might earn international prestige, uh, your reputation people being more familiar with your talents. If this isn't the world, then maybe this is your community, uh, the social media world. Uh, it could also be travel plans, adventure. Work can take you places. Prominence in work, you might be invited to attend some sort of business event or weekend away or business trip. Could be overseas, it could be interstate, it could be in a different region or city. You might be asked to look after a wider region and or city. But there's foreign people or connections coming in around you, Taurus. Could be a long distance relationship you pick back up again. You might bump into someone who is foreign, who is bilingual, different nationality, different culture. Um, and suddenly this person is going to be the center of your world. You're going to give them a lot of attention and they'll want a lot of your attention as well. So um, it's someone who's definitely very interested in you likewise. So. And I do feel if this is overseas investments or negotiations, they're destined to go down, um, go down well as well, because the, it's like Cupid and she's on cloud nine, and this beautiful angel, um, she's floating, but the wreath is also victory, it's completing something. Um, you might be completing a negotiations, you might finally um, seal the deal, you might finally sign a contract for something, you might finally make that move, that transition, or even could even be a spiritual transformation here, Taurus. Um, and that might take place for you maybe towards the end of November. Two of Cups is here. Now, this could be a job interview. If you've been called in for a job interview, there's a potential for a second interview, um, further testing, further questioning, etc. This could be a meeting with a twin flame, meeting someone new for the first time. If you've maintained an online relationship, you might be meeting this person in the flesh towards the end of November. There might be someone from your past wanting to reconnect. There might be important business meetings or people wanting to invest. Okay, they want to talk, they want to talk turkey, they want to talk about money, about how they can make money, how they can invest, what's what's it to them, what's the benefit. So there's a lot of discussions about this. Whilst I believe the Two of Cups is more romantic, and which can definitely point to engagements and proposals. Some of you might even have a trip planned and you might be getting a proposal, eloping, even renewing your wedding vows um, in a foreign environment, in a foreign place. But I think it's more traditional. I think it's more two lovers coming together into a union here. Or if you've had emotional hiccups in a relationship, I feel like you're coming back and this is possibly apologies, forgiveness. 
because you want to discuss it, you want to talk it over here, Taurus, and the two of you are coming together. You're both coming in with equal guilt, equal compassion, equal um, motivation to reconcile, and you're both apologizing in your own ways. It's very amicable, so the both of you are coming with equal, equal emotional maturity, both understanding where you went wrong, where you could have improved, where you could have done potentially things a little bit differently as well. Um, I will leave it at that though, Taurus, 